Why? Oh, YouTube, it's your boy Mike T's back at you with another video. As y'all can see, I got my squirrel prints. Ah, ah, head on, head on over to SP Poke. If you haven't, check her out in the Squad Creators group. And I also got, I got my five on it, and I'm as blessed as I want to be by Marcella Richie, AKA Mini Tings Customs. If you like what I have on, you can definitely go ahead and purchase it. Once again, SP Poke and mini teams, customs. But today's video is gonna be a quick one. It's a quick tutorial on how to use HTV. That's right, <laughs> no big surprise. You guys know that HTV is one of my favorite things to do. And today is gonna to be, I mean, very simple. So simple that a fifth grader could do it. That's right, are you smarter than a fifth grader? I would hope so, especially if you're my age. But some fifth graders are smarter than people my age. Mm. So we'll be actually uh, doing a skull design onto a white gilded t-shirt with some rainbow galaxy glitter from Caesar. You can get these products from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Just use the links down in the description below. But let's tap in. This right here is the glitter in which you just got, which you guys just seen being cut on the Cameo 4. Um, I show where the indentation, you can kind of see the reflecting over it. It's like a skull with a ponytail, I know, but it's something that the customer requested. Now they also requested that I put hearts in the actual cavity of the eyes, but I have yet to get back with them. So I'm just gonna put the regular skull on right now. And then if they contact me during this video or around the process of this video, you guys will see me put the red glitter eyes into the actual skull. But let's tap all the way in. So let me tell you, glitter is one of those substrates or actual one of those vinyls that you use um, to upsell, essentially. All the ladies love the bling. Um, the children love the bling. Even some men love the bling factor in glitter. The only thing is it's kind of hard. It's a thicker substrate to work with. With that being said, you have to make sure that your cut settings are on point. So I showed a little bit in the camera. Um, I like to use mine's in the cutter, the Cameo 4 cutter with no mat whatsoever. When I say no mat, do not use a mat because it will force you to use higher settings that you don't really need. So typically when I'm doing mines, I leave my uh, cut settings at around 17 to 19. My force is always at like 17 or 19. My speed is around five anywhere up to eight i never go past eight and my roller dial is always at a three four or five depending on how thick the glitter is this is a little bit thinner substrate than that uh flock or that fabric that flock or that fabric you would need to go actually higher these are tips you guys should know um to help you with your cameo and I was thinking about doing like cameo classes again for you guys, silhouette cameo design classes. Let me know if you'd be interested. Drop a comment down below. So this is actually a couple days later. I'm in a whole different outfit, but I had the fights with this glitter from Caesar. Um, it's always a good fight between me and Caesar <laughs> no we get together, no matter what the cut settings are. However, you just have to take your time and weed it out slowly. Because if not, you will end up with something catastrophic like this versus something that's done like this. As you can see, the hair had all types of cavities in it that I had to take out. Anybody wondering where I got this design? Etsy. I think it was like $2.99, $1.99. Y'all know I'll be utilizing Etsy. Or I put my own little spin on it. The eyebrow moved up a little bit, so I will fix that. But yeah, right there. The glitter that I'm using 
is the rainbow glitter from Caesar. As you can see, the blues, the yellows, the greens. And yeah, this is crazy because it's black. Look at those flavors, man. So I'm just using a regular Gildan shirt. And my heat is at 320. We're gonna press for 15 seconds to get this on here. And we'll see if we'll add anything else. Let's go. Yes, like y'all see, it is very nice. This, uh, that boss lady with the lips and that galaxy glitter is what I added last to bring it out a little bit more. Whenever I buy SVG off of Etsy, I try to add extra components to make it a one of a kind design. Um, and this can be used with any color glitter, any color combination. I just happened to get the guild in, I believe down the street at Walmart or at Michael's, somewhere like that. Uh, the black galaxy glitter is uh, Caesar and I got it from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Check out the 420 right there. Yes, yeah, sir. I sublimated on that flop. That uh, chameleon that you guys had just seen is that new pink and blue metal. I'm always mesmerized when I pull off the carrier sheet. That's why I just stretched it out a little bit. Yes, yes. Revealing that beautiful color that's going to come through. And like I said, once the sun hits it, you're going to see different colors. Um, it's going to pop most definitely. I appreciate you guys rocking with me on every video, man. To the fullest. Look at the details. It popping, ain't it? Yeah. Yo, that was a quick how-to with that Caesar glitter. Black Galaxy glitter is what I like to call it. It has a bunch of different colors in it, and you can see it when the sun hits it. It was a simple, basic design. Like I said, I got it off of Etsy. You guys can use like Etsy and all types of different little SVG uh, design companies that's out here to help you. And then you can make extra decorations or turn it into your own once you have the SGV file. I just simply added the uh, boss lady and the lips to the bottom of it just to bring it out a little bit more after she wanted to spray with colors, maybe some alcohol inks or some type of like spray to just bring color to it. And she said, no, she needed it black and white. The pants she has is black and white. The shoes she has is black and white. Guess what the common theme is? The skull. The skull is on all three pieces, which makes it coordinate. And John Witherspoon's voice um, and saying, rest in peace to the legend. But break the sky with your creativity. Don't let nobody get in the way of what it is that's determined for you. Only you can stop you. You have to keep going at the end of the day so you can make your presence known. Stay consistent above everything else. And it will pay off in the long haul. But y'all, it's been your boy Mike Tease. And as with all good things, this one is now coming to an end. I'm out.